Alrighty, let's start with uh, this video. It'll be a short one. I'm going to go over some of the uh, stuff that I've done. Uh, the bodies have been blasted and they're going to be cleaned and degreased. Um, I'm going to start here and show you this experiment that I was working with. I had this extra piece of metal laying around and I tried out the two different style of paints. The first one is this good paint by Van Sickle. Like you can get it um, a lot of different uh, hardware stores. I believe you can get it at Tractor Supply. Uh, I got it at Atwoods, which is also similar to a Tractor Supply in town. And then I went to my John Deere dealer and picked up the John Deere paint there. Now, this side was painted with the Van Sickle and this side with the John Deere. And I let it dry for a couple days and I could really out of it there's a lot more shine out of the, out of the John Deere it's just a hair bit greener but there's a lot more shine to it uh, than the Van Sickle now I talked to a paint specialist at my local uh, Sherwin Williams it is the uh, it's the Sherwin Williams uh, automotive paint specialist in uh, Fort Smith and I got a lot of good information from him he was telling me that he's painted a lot of tractors and stuff and to, and to stick with the John Deere paint. He says it has a lot more shine to it and especially a lot more durability, especially if it's in the weather. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and stick with the John Deere paint. That is still a good paint and it's a very good color match because between the two you can't see where the color separates at. It's, a real, it's a, still a good paint. But I'm going to stick to the John Deere. Um, because it's a little bit greener and a lot more gloss to it and all. Let me go on to the next thing I was going to show you. Once I get the bodies uh, completely cleaned, I'm going to go over them with a grease and wax remover as a last step in this. I'm going to really clean the Dickens out of these. And the initial primer is going to be called a self-etching. What it does is it will bond to the metal. It will actually bond to the metal. And that's where you get a really good um, grip with your paint. But this is self-etching primer. That will be the first layer down. And in the flat areas like this, like this around here, here and here, uh, I'm going to follow up with a filler primer. Now this one you have to sand down and get it smooth, but it fills in perfections and stuff like that. You use a real high, uh, high grit um, uh, sandpaper and can really get this down. Now with this, I have a, a called spot, spot putty, which will take care of them uh, grinding marks and other stuff like that. And this is used very sparingly. You just put a dab down, let it dry, and then sand it out. And then follow up with a little bit more primer on top of it. So uh, this is what uh, I'll use to fill the cracks and stuff in with. Now I got this and all this, all this information from my uh, local guys at my automotive uh, paint store, the Sherwin-Williams and Fort Smith. And they gave me some real good advice. And so um, from there, that's the work that I get to do next. Um, now another tip that I've been doing on all my paints and, and stuff like that, I keep them uh, inside the house. And I know that sounds silly, but this time of year it is um, November. And with the temperature swings and stuff like that, I don't want my paints and stuff like that to freeze and thaw, freeze and thaw and stuff like that. That'll, that'll hurt them. So that's why I've been keeping all my paint supplies and stuff inside where the temperature is more constant. And then when I need to, I'll bring them out and use them. But um, also on this, I've decided to, I know this is the uh, top half, but on the bottom half, I'm going to paint the inside edge where that bevel is with primer and paint. That is to make sure that this edge, there's no... Um, uh, spots that's going to show up. That's there to uh, do a good job. So uh, that's where I'm at so far. Um, the, the bead blasting worked out real well. 
I'm real pleased with it and I just got to clean and get started on these I'm gonna get started on that here pretty soon so that's my next video and that's some more good information right there and uh, hanging in there there'll be more to come bye